Okay guys, let's go ahead and make a mold. Um, I'm going to be making the mold first of this Nostromo panel. Um, first you're going to want to get your measuring cups and I have two of these 8 ounce measuring cups. Um, it's going to take 8 ounces or more to make this mold. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and mix 8 ounces. I'm going to show you how I mix and then I'm going to show you how I pour because there is a certain way of doing it and uh, if I need more I'm not going to bother to videotape that uh, I'll just go back and make some more with my little spare that I have here first of all though you want to shake up your your uh, micro mark rubber you want to shake it up real good I'm doing this off screen but make sure it's shaking up really well because it tends to be binding inside the bottle and doesn't pour as well unless you shake it so there we go got it shaked I'm going to go ahead and do four ounces of the part A and then four ounces of the part B into this cup here. And of course these are brand new so they have not been opened yet. So let me go ahead and uh, get my Exacto and open these up. Probably have been a good idea to do this before I shot the video but hey you know seal that up while I cut open this one over here first. Brand new. Alright, we're ready to rock and roll here. Move that out of the way. I have paper towels down because I tend to be a messy person. Shake this one up a little bit more. The blue sometimes need to be shaken up more than the part A white piece for some reason. Alright, let's do this. So I'm going to just steadily pour four ounces, watching carefully. This is, you can budge this just a little bit with this silicone mold mix I've noticed in the past. That's four ounces right there, just a teeny bit over the line, but this is more forgiving than the casting material, material I use, I tell you that. All right, then we do another four ounces, steady pour. All the way up to eight. It's almost there. And that is eight ounces dead on. All right. So I got my eight ounces. I'm going to go ahead and mix this. And I'll just show you a little bit of it mixing. Take your mixing stick and just start mixing it in. Try not to spill any. And keep it uh, from overflowing onto the uh, surface. You want to keep it all in the cup. And just do a steady stir. Okay? Don't try to force too much air into it or fold too much air into it you're going to have to a little bit in order to uh, get this uh, get this mix done well but uh, I'm trying to stir and think at the same time and it's pretty hard for me <laughs> you don't need long to stir this listening to the Blade Runner soundtrack by the way. So it's been over 60 seconds. You want to get this thing poured because this, this stuff starts to cure pretty quickly. I don't pour this low. I pour high and I select one point in the mold in which I do not deviate from. And I pour high because the stream as it stretches pulls the air away from the mold material. So you'll see what I mean when I get ready. It's going to be pouring off screen, okay? Just keep your eye on the mold. Let me push this down here so you can see it. And I'm going to pour it off screen, and I'm going to stay in one spot. And I'm not going to move. It's going to be a slow and steady stream. And this is the way it will be until it fills up. I mean, this is exciting stuff. <laughs> huh. 
but don't rush it. Don't pour too fast uh, because you're going to trap air in a certain spot and it's going to be the spot that you don't want air to be trapped in. So, and it always works that way. So uh, just take your time. Make sure there's no hairs or debris inside like I'm just noticing now. in a great time to figure that out. Anyway, I, I cleared it. It's good. But, um... This is how you do it. And, uh... I'll go ahead and keep doing this. And the next part, I'll show you how to do a head, um head sculpt uh, mold and uh, then we'll do a the next part would be releasing the pieces from the mold uh, if you have any questions just uh, let me know at my email address that's sithfire30 at yahoo.com s-i-t-h underscore f-i-r-e the number 30 at yahoo.com or on my facebook page just type in sithfire30 creations in the search and it'll take you to my Facebook page. Thanks, guys.